Hi everyone, today we're going to go through and uh, do an updated video of how to install the Brig and Own Cloud on your NAS for free. Been a while, but uh, this wasn't until version 10 that um, there was enough changes to do an updated video. So anyway, let's get started. So this is a clean install of a NAS for free using as of today the latest version which is uh, you can see that the Presta revision 2268 so there's a couple of changes in the menu but generally speaking it's uh, everything else is quite similar let's get started and install the brig okay so links will be provided below but if you go to the NAS for free forum under the software and jails this forum here uh, install the brig on page 19 so we want to scroll down about three quarters of the way to this post here uh, from Alexi123. First thing we want to do is, as you can see here, I've logged into the NAS here. So to install the brig, let's just do a copy and paste. Easy. Then we want to make it executable let's have a look okay so and then all we do is basically type in that script so I'm just going to type that in we want to install the brig and then point it to the path um, of where we want the brig, so let's just call that brig. Go enter. As you can see it's a lot cleaner and a lot quicker now. So that's done. Go back to our NAS, do a refresh, and you'll see the pop up and then the brig. So let's go in and configure the brig. We want to click on that, save. Go to tarball and then we do a query. Uh, I'm running a 64-bit version of the NAS, so the, what we want to do is, as a minimum, we need those two, the base and the lib32. If you're running a 32-bit, that probably won't come up because you won't need it. But if you're running 64-bit, that's important. Then we go fetch and then it's just telling you that it'll be downloaded in the background so we just got to wait for it to finish click OK, just wait a moment uh, as it's um, looking for the files and then when it does it'll pop up down here in the uh, active downloads there we go so just wait for that to finish downloading when it does I'll be right back Okay, so when it disappears like that, it's done. Just to start configuring the jail, go into the jails tab, click the plus. Okay, so in here we'll go through these. So this is the first jail in here, so leave that as one. I can call it anything I want, so I'm going to use this to install own cloud, so I'm just going to call it cloud. Uh, I like the full, it seems to work uh, well for me start on boot can skip all this down to here this is a really important one if you don't tick this uh, you'll have a lot of issues with um, permissions and mysql uh, for on cloud down the track so that's really important keep going down this one is the next important one this is the ip that you want to use for your jail so in this case i'm going to use one one or one, one that's my network 24 and then add it into the jail then scroll down can skip most of this and the next imp really important is you've got to tick in these two and then go add it says here your jail will be now built so click OK it doesn't take too long all we do is click apply changes you can see it's created a jail uh, that's the network card, that's the name of the jail and at the moment it's stopped but basically the jail's done so all we have to do is click start and you can see that it's uh, running 
So that's pretty much it to uh, install the Agile inside our NAS for free.